Welcome to this instructor guide. This presentation will help you gain a good understanding of our online materials, as well as see how to plan and utilize them to teach bioinformatics to graduate students. Transcriptomics 1 talks about next generation sequencing data preparation. Transcriptomics 2 is a discussion of statistical analysis and biological interpretation. Transcriptomics 3 speaks about data science and machine learning is introduced. And finally, in Transcriptomics 4, we focus on single cell RNA-seq. Let's talk about how these modules are designed and how they can be used to help students learn about RNA-seq. In the program, we will require students to complete three main courses, Transcriptomics 1, 2, and 3. There are also two optional courses, Introduction to Bioinformatics and Transcriptomics 4. Intro to Bioinformatics provides an overview of important research topics and applications. This content is tailor-fitted to the data science novice. It offers an example of big data in basic life sciences research, healthcare, as well as biotech and pharmaceutical industries. It is designed to inspire and provide perspective for both graduate and undergraduate students. Transcriptomics 4 is a course dedicated to single-cell RNA-seq, how this type of data is generated, how to analyze it, and what specific challenges need to be considered. Each module in this series is designed using five elements. Rationale and objectives, engaging activities, multimedia and tutorials, practical applications, and quantification and testing. These elements are consistent throughout all three courses in the transcriptomic series. Each course starts with rationale and objectives to set the expectation for learning. Relevant terminology is listed and placed into biological context throughout the lesson. Different types of data formats are presented, linking those to the logic behind each one of the analysis methods that are thoroughly described. Each course contains engaging activities to make the material easier to read and remember. These include concept mapping, question analysis, and an extensive glossary to contextualize complex terminology as well as functional linkages to help associate bioinformatics analysis workflows with their functions. Courses are also enriched with videos and multimedia inserts. These make the material more enjoyable and break up the long texts. These elements are used to explain project examples, review research publications, and link the content to known databases from which the user can learn to navigate. Each topic is reinforced through practical application. This element relies on running bioinformatics practice pipelines. To help make them logical, the analysis steps are color-coded and feature pop-ups with in-depth explanations as well as links to relevant publications. The pipelines are prepared in advance to provide quick outputs to help understand how they function. Finally, course material is reviewed into module quizzes and tests. These are timed and tied in with the student overall progress. During the course, students and faculties will be able to see how they make progress through the courses, complete practical assignments, and perform the quizzes. This data is crunched to provide the basis of certification at the conclusion of their journey through the material. Let's review how these elements work using Transcriptomics 1 as an example. The goal of this course is to provide the learner with relevant information to understand the biology of transcription, learn about the process of next generation sequencing, apply computational tools to process short reads of sequences, turn them into structured data, and then prepare a table of gene or isoform expression that is ready for analysis. To do so, we have to make sure key terms are defined in informatics-related terminology as linked to the biology of transcription. Thus, we can prepare students to have a better understanding of genes, exons, the process of alternative splicing, and how these are represented in RNA-seq data. These terms also help prepare students to understand the need for certain types of analysis methods that might not be clear from their names as they are used by bioinformaticians, such as top hat, bow tie, or RSEM. Placing these terms and concepts together in the text, videos, and explanatory pop-ups on the practice platforms helps to maintain engagement. It also provides direction and reinforces learning throughout their practice. Module video tutorials are meant to provide a further in-depth look at specific concepts, such as the central dogma of molecular biology. These offer insight into how specific methods or data is used, or explain the need for analysis approaches such as principal component analysis and classification. These are explained using projects. For example, we use the patient-derived Xenograss mouse model project to demonstrate the use of mapping on two different genomes as an informatics approach to study the role of tumor microenvironment in cancer studies. To make these concepts practical, we offer students a way to gain practical experience and apply their knowledge to build analysis pipelines. 
Our platform is integrated into the learning process with the goal of using the same color coding to review in-depth explanations, link terminology to its function. These pipelines also require data input, so the students learn to find data from public domain databases such as NCBI, EMBL, or TCGA. The module quizzes have been written and scrutinized heavily so that they provide an effective assessment tool for instructors as well as effective feedback for the students. In addition to the quizzes, we will offer elements of gamification. Students and faculties will see points, levels and badges that can be used for the group context and are used in our certification process. I encourage all of you to take a look at the lbrn.tbio.info link. There you will be able to review the courses and see how some of what I mentioned is implemented. You can also create a profile and track your own progress throughout the course and see how much effort goes into successful course completion. You will notice most of what I've said as you navigate the portal and look through the course material, take quizzes, or practice running practice pipelines on the TBioInfo platform.